without the why, there's almost no explanation. And the problem becomes that if you are not aware of, of the why of your actions, if you don't have those whys, you can be sure that those whys have you. You can be sure that somebody else's purpose has you. In the 10 years that I've been teaching, we all have come across that teacher that's struggling in their classroom. Mm. And one of two things happen. Either people are like talking about them behind their back and how like mm. incapable they are. And do they really care about this profession? And is their heart really in it? And where's the relationship with the kids when really it may not be relationship, it might simply be a lack of skill set. If I'm gonna be a teacher and if I'm gonna do this job, it feels like it, like it requires a lot of yourself and I wanna do it well. So like opportunities like this feel like, oh man, maybe there's some sort of something that can be offered that can kind of accelerate growth so I can get out of any sort of space where I feel like I'm maybe just kind of getting by and, and not doing the best for my kids. Reflecting on what we're doing in the classroom and being honest about how we can improve can really lead to transformational work in our classrooms. All teachers should feel agency to have is to be an instructional leader. They're the closest to the largest resource in the school, which is the children, and then they're the second largest resource. And so if we're really going to affect change that impacts learning, the, the place to do it is at the instruction level. So I think teachers should be the information that policymakers use, teachers are closest to the children, to inform parents in the community. So I think it's really important that teachers are encouraged to uh, develop these skills and to take on this kind of role in their school community. We need to acknowledge that we still have room to grow. Even if we are being successful in the classroom, things may not go right every day. And being okay with that and being uncomfortable with that can really lead to growth for us professionally. And again, I feel like if we grow professionally, then our students are the ones reaping the rewards.